All right, you guys, so today you're gonna come with me <clears throat> as I do things around my house. My Roomba is vacuuming my room right now. But um, I kinda wanted to talk to you guys about something. And I think for those of you who watch YouTube, you may have heard about this so-called McKamey Manor. Um, so you're gonna come with me while I talk about that. So for those of you who don't know, McKamey Manor is an extreme haunted house, so-called. The reason why I say so-called is because I'm going to get into that in a little bit. Um, okay, so McKamey Manor is a haunted house, the most extreme haunted house. And I've kind of known about it for some time. Um, what is this? I don't know what that is. Oh, it's Aaliyah's witch broom. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my gosh, I better move it before my dog comes and gets it. Okay, because he's walking. Um, <clears throat> so I wanted to just talk about McKinney Manor because honestly, it just sickens me. So I've kind of known about it since 2015. Um, and I saw the apparent six hour record holder. And she, um, I don't know, I don't really know what her deal was, but I guess she made it for six hours. But also I think that being uh, the owner's friend, I think that kind of had a little bit to do with it. What should I eat? I don't even know what to eat, honestly. Um, so, anyway, let me kind of talk more about what it is. Basically, it's what you would call a torture chamber, and the owner, Russ McKamey, is, let's just say this guy needs to be in jail because of what he's done to people and just how he uses his... Oh, are there any french fries in here? <clears throat> nope. Okay. Um, anyway, so he uses his house to torture people. Um, he Basically what he does, he hides behind his waiver that says that he can do whatever he wants and people can't say anything because they signed a waiver. So basically they like electrocute you, they waterboard you watch I don't have anything for you <laughs> um they make you they have like bugs crawling on your face and it's it's not a haunted house it's an extreme torture chamber and this guy Russ McKamey apparently he's very very good at manipulating because like no one's talked about it. No one's, I mean, people talk about it. It circulates the internet at least once a year during Halloween because it's so extreme. Um, but I just want to say that it's about time that this guy is investigated because he has just caused so much trouble. I really don't know what to eat. I'm sorry. I'm just. Like I said, I'm multitasking, which is why you guys are coming with me as I'm talking about this. Um, he, he's being investigated finally because um, Reckless Ben, if he's to be believed, which judging from another friend, um, on uh, another friend that I'm friends with on YouTube, uh, actually not just YouTube, but um, she's done some research and she does, she's like very big into like finding out about like scams and stuff. And I think that's so cool because it, pe this stuff needs to be talked about. So, <coughs> excuse me. Um, so I think that it's important for people to know about these things because like contestants who have been through the manor, they have turned against Russ because they realize the manipulation that he's in. He's put them through but there's a lot of people who have been through who supported him and I just 
don't I just don't see how that can be possible because you like he's obviously getting away with so much there's videos of him admitting to do so much whether or not come on my dog likes when I push his food out <laughs> because like I don't know why he just does but yeah so reckless Ben apparently got a hard drive the secret secret hard drive um and is now the McKinney Manor or the torture the chamber um you know uh is going to get investigated I think the investigation is going on right now which I'm so glad about because it's just sick what he does to people and I think any decent human being would find it disgusting. Let's go outside. Hold on. I'm going to set you down while I put his leash on. Okay. <coughs> so I think that people who are talking about this don't really know the full extent. They're like, oh, yeah, this guy, these people signed up for what for for stuff and they know what they're getting into but they really don't because rust manipulates them a hundred percent how am i gonna do this i never really filmed taking him out sorry well I, okay there we go okay so yeah um he's a gross manipulator for real like he just doesn't seem to care about what he does to people and I say that because of all the um, assaults that he did on his guests and in his personal life and just overall, like, he's just not a good person at all. Um, sorry. <laughs> okay, I think this is better. Okay, I'm just trying to figure out the best way to do this while I take him to go to the bathroom. Um... Yeah, I think it's not funny at all what he does to people. And they know, like Ben, uh, Reckless Ben knows what he's up to. And I think that people like that are so amazing how they do their investigations. So basically the secret hard drive has a lot of private footage on it that people don't, or Russ McKinney doesn't want out because I've seen on his live feeds that people would ask him questions about the hard drive and he would just completely ignore it. People would repeat the questions and they would be like, oh, he's not talking about it, he's just ignoring it. And I just find that very suspicious because if you're not hurting anyone, if you're not doing anything wrong, you can defend yourself and, and show the public the proof. Hey, this is what's really going on. Show the raw footage. I mean, you know, just don't act like you're, sorry, Macho, the most like manipulative person and get away with murder basically. Because apparently he said that three people have died in his manner. And I'm just like, how? Those are not reported. Why wouldn't they be reported? So what, what's the story behind it, behind those deaths? I mean, clearly they're not doing anything about it. Clearly there's no news articles. Clearly there's just no evidence to explain away the deaths at the manor. And how is that possible? I really don't know how that's even possible because obviously, like are the deaths kept private? I mean, a lot of deaths don't get reported all the time, but I, I still think that if you're actually doing something to harm someone and, you know, torture them in any way, shape, or form, it should be known. It really should be. And my honest opinion is that I feel so... Like, 
the reason why I've invested in this so much is because I feel for all those people. My heart just breaks for them. What they've been through, what they've been manipulated to say, what they've been man manipulated to do, you know, to make themselves like feel like, oh, it's okay. We signed a waiver. We're okay with it. We knew what we were getting into. But did you guys really? Like it just makes me it just makes me want to question everything that I know about life. And like just overall, like I just want to question everyone and everything. Like, you know, it's just that it's that bad for me where I just feel like people would say anything to get away with things that they're not supposed to do. So I'm curious to know what you guys think about this because honestly for me, I'm standing outside my room right now because room is vacuuming. Um, honestly for me, I feel so sick to my stomach whenever I hear about them, about McKamey Manor and what Russ McKamey has done to the poor people. And I don't know, I, to me, like, well, if Reckless Ben is to be believed, I mean, how did he do it when no one else has been able to do it? That's what I want to know. Like, no one else has done so much research about it. At least no one's been able to get as far as Ben, as Reckless Ben has. I admire that guy if he really did do something about it. But I also wanna know like, if he was able to infiltrate the manor, how come no one else was able to do it? It, it just makes me wonder like, how is that even possible? So I just, want to know what you guys think um honestly i don't think people are going to report this video and if you do you're a coward um and you're probably part of you know the the brainwash groups um that want to make that defend russ that defend this guy and i think that's so wrong because like i'm a decent human being if you're a decent human being, you would know that this is not okay, that the things he's doing are not okay. And I want that to be known. And I'm sorry if I'm so like in my feelings about this, but it's because I have heart. It's because I care about people, about their well being, about them being tortured in any way, shape, or form. I think it's just so wrong. So I really hope this guy gets in jail finally and hopefully he's not able to wiggle his way out. Hopefully, because apparently he's done that in the past. Now, the reason why I didn't go into too many details about McKamey Manor and what about what this guy, this guy does, I think it's super well known by now. And I don't need to go into the nitty gritty because I feel like people know already and if you don't know, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to do the work, dirty work and just put all that information in here because you can't, you, it's easily findable on the internet. Like it's not even like everyone who knows it, about it just doesn't do anything to put it all into a video because they don't need to, um, because by now people should know. Um, and so I just want to say that like, if you think that this is okay, you're probably part of the problem. And I'm sorry, but that's just completely wrong. So anyway, I just kind of wanted to say like, I'll keep you guys updated on <clears throat> what's been going on. Or if you don't, you know, already know, or you can look it up yourself. Um, but I, I do find this interesting and I do want, I did want to speak out about this because I, care about those people who have been harmed i what what sick individual can do all this and get away with it for so long 
it just it just breaks my heart and it makes me sad for humanity there's so many things going on in this world and this is just one more thing that's beyond anything you could ever imagine so if you like this video and you want an update please let me know in the comments and i will probably do an update when i find something out i'm going to keep investigating um you guys can do your own investigations but i'm gonna do mine for sure and i'll probably create another video um well i probably will investigate or like after but i'm definitely gonna keep an eye on this more often now